Yo yo people, what are going on? I don't know, it's the King Boss, welcome back. So in this one, I'm going to show you guys how to install Open Media Vault. This is the finished product. And as you can see, I'm on my dashboard here. I'm just moving around, showing you that things work. I've added a 256 gigabyte SSD to mine. So let's jump into this one. This is me plugging in my boot device. So this is just a memory stick I put um, the operating system on. And then this is also me powering the device on. And right now I'm spamming or pressing F7 to get to the boot menu. This is the boot menu and I know I'm going to select my boot device. I have two drives. The first one is the internal SSD. This one here is the Ventoy USB. So I'm going to boot from the Ventoy USB because I need to install the operating system. This is the entire list of operating systems I have on this particular USB. So this is the benefit of Ventoy. I can have as many operating systems as will fit on the drive. I'm going to go to Open Media Vault. I've got two of them here. I don't know why, but I'm going to go to that one. It's AMD 64. So that's the X64, 64 bit version. I'm going to boot in normal mode. From here on in, this is all about Open Media Vault's installation process. Install and I've got Advanced. I'm not going to mess with Advanced because I think the typical installation should be fine for most people. I'm going to go to Install, press Enter. This comes up, it's asking for the language. I'm going to choose English, of course. It's asking my region. I'm going to choose United Kingdom, British English. This is a keyboard layout, I believe. Yep, this is going to be British English for me. This is a section where you need to choose the network interface you're going to be using. You can use Wi-Fi as shown here or wireless, but I'm going to be using gigabit ethernet because it's much more stable. It's going to be much faster as well. For me, it's not as convenient, but I'm going to go with that one there. Gigabit ethernet. You shouldn't need to enter any details for this. However, if you do choose the wireless option, it's going to ask you for the, the name. So you're, you're going to have to choose the name of your Wi-Fi network and also put the password in for your Wi-Fi network as well. But because I've chosen Ethernet, it just sets everything up normally. All right, so I'm going to leave the host name as Open Media Vault. So host name is basically the name of this particular computer. I could have Open Media Vault 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, as many as I want on a single network. So I'm going to press Enter. I'm going to leave it exactly the same. And the domain name, I'm going to leave as local as well. So what that, so the domain name, think of the domain name as a .com or the .co.uk or whatever other ones there are. So the host name is going to be Open Media Vault. So think Think of Google, www.google, and then the domain name is going to be .co.uk or google.com or google.ac.uk, whatever the end part is. Uh, root password, I am going to enter a basic one here. This is not going to be internet facing, so it should be fine. Now it says more than one storage device has been detected. Press continue. I have three devices here. The first one again, that's my internal SSD. The second one is that's an external SSD I have attached via USB 3. And this one here is the USB memory stick. This is where you need to select where to install the operating system. So definitely don't choose the memory stick. Definitely don't choose the external SSD. You should choose your internal drive. Ideally, this is where it's going to boot from each time. I'm going to press on that one, installing the system. I'm going to just wait for this to finish and come back. Now I need to configure the package manager. I'm going to choose United Kingdom again. I'm going to leave it as the default, debian.org. Uh, press enter. Uh, proxy information, I'm not going to touch this whatsoever. I'm going to leave it exactly how it is. It's retrieving some files. Installation completed. I'm going to press enter. So now that the installation has completed. The only thing you need to do now is to go onto your PC and enter this IP address here. Now this is a local address so you won't be able to access this from the internet. Once you enter that you should be able to log in using the default login details for Open Media Vault. So I'm going to go ahead and show that now. This is my desk. I'm going to be running this as a headless setup which means I don't need the monitor on. I'm going to completely turn this off. The only things I need plugged in are the power cable, um, the SSD I'm going to be using, and the Ethernet cable, which is plugged in here. A bit messy, sorry about that. Again, you don't need anything else on because you're going to access everything from your, or from another device. I'm back over on my PC. I'm running Google Chrome on Windows 11. This should work from any modern browser, by the way. The only thing you need to do from here is to put in the IP address that showed up once you finished the installation process for Open, open Media Vault. So I believe mine was 192.168.0.149. You only need the IP address. Now you can search with the host name as well. You don't, it doesn't just have to be the IP address. So I'm 
I'm going to press enter on this and it comes up, but I'm also going to try this with the host name instead. So that this is not the best way to get in because I believe by default, it might set it up as DHCP. So dynamic host protocol, which means that every time, well, it might mean that every time you turn the computer off and back on, it chooses a different IP address. So this IP address will be different the next time you sign in. It might not be, but most devices do that. So I'm going to press the plus sign and I'm going to do the host name instead. And I believe it was open media vault, uh, open media vault dot local. And once you type this in and press enter, because the host name is open media vault, that's, that's the specific PC that has the operating system installed and local is the domain. So everything in this house, I'll probably put on local just so it's easy for me to remember. Once you type that in, you press enter and exactly the same login screen comes up. So I can go ahead and close this one. I, I would bookmark both of them. Personally, I have both of them bookmarked. So just in case something doesn't work, I, I can quickly get back into them. And, but I'm going to use this one. So I already have my login details, but it should be admin for the username and the password should be open media vault, all lowercase, all one word. Once you're logged in, you're going to be greeted with your dashboard. I didn't know it would actually set all of this stuff up, which is perfectly fine. If you want to donate, donate. This software is amazing. So you can go ahead and donate. I'm not going to donate at the moment. I'm going to close this. I'm going to go to the notification section here in the top right corner, click on the notifications, and it tells me straight away that um, I need to update some packages. This section down here, this is a log of everything that's happened because I typed the, the username and password in wrong the first time. That's why they showed up. I'm going to click on updates. This new screen is going to come up or this page is going to load up. Only thing you need to do from here is to click on where it says install updates. I'm not going to bother going through all of this and reading what's been updated. These are the people that made it. If they say something needs updating, I'm just going to update it. Click install updates. I'm going to click on the, the box here to confirm. Then I'm going to click on yes. This is going to go ahead and install all the updates I need. It might kick you off at some point because it might be updating drivers uh, that should make the network work. If it does kick you off, just restart the process of updating the software and it should be fine. That's happened to me a couple of times. This is exactly what I meant here. So for some reason, it kicks us off here. But if I close this and if I go to updates again, as you can see, I only have, I think it said, 27 before. Now I only have four updates. I'm going to click on no notifications again, click on updates. I'm just going to click on install updates again, click on confirm, then click on yes. So exactly what I did before, it should restart the update. Now that all the updates have been done, I think I need to restart the system. So I'm going to click on notifications again. It tells you right there that you need to restart the system. All you need to do is to click on that power button looking icon there, and I'm going to do reboot, confirm, and yes. Once this has been rebooted, I'll continue. That rebooted quickly. If you stay on the web page that you're on or the page that you're on, don't leave that page. It will automatically jump back onto the login page once the system has been rebooted. So for me, I'm going to click here, put in my password again, admin, password, open, media, vault, press enter. Not going to save that password because I will change it at some point. And there we go. So everything has already been set up. I think that happened because I installed the system earlier and I did activate these dashboard features. I didn't think it would still carry off even after I reinstalled everything. But in any case, to get the dashboard features up, so these widgets on screen, I guess. You click on the person icon over here. You go down to dashboard and you can tick all the boxes you want and don't want. So I tick most of them. I like things in tables instead of grids. Then you just click save and you should be good to go. So that was the installation process. And that was just a quick test to make sure everything works. I haven't added a drive yet. I think I'm going to do that in the next video and go through a few of the settings, like how to change password. But thank you guys. Hopefully that was useful and fun. This is very fun for me. Stay tuned.